I always wanted to help people and support people. I finally found a way of, of supporting people through architecture. My name is Veronique Orens. I'm uh, the co-founder of Jugening. It's an uh, office of architects. What we do at Jugening is constantly searching for other ways to improve the, the well-being of its users. So what if architecture prevents burnout, diminishes sick leave, uh, helps people to focus longer and better? We all have been focusing on the reduction of um, energy and water consumption. And don't get me wrong, that's really, really important. Um, but comparatively, people are the biggest cost per square meter office space. Imagine the effect of human-centric and biophilic design on people who spend most of their daytime at the office. There's so much to gain, like air quality, avoiding glare, the view and vistas, natural colors, and imagine the effect it could have on the return on investment for you as a, an owner of the building or as an employer. Um, so this kind of philosophy underpins what we did with the building the precedent at the Avenue Louise in Brussels. You will see lots and lots of plane trees, huge plane trees in front of the building. All we had to do was open up the facade as much as possible in order to benefit from the calming effect of these trees. So the biophilic features don't always have to be on the inside. Sometimes they're just already there and we have to maximize their presence. Because of the, the huge curtain walls and the maximum view towards the trees in the street, uh, we had lots and lots of daylight, but sometimes you can have too much daylight and then you need something to avoid glare. And we didn't want to work with blinds or shutters or whatever. We were lucky that our client chose the smart glass, in this case, iRise, as a solution. These kind of design choices align completely with our commitment to well certification, focusing on health and well-being. We had to work with uh, the limited sizes, although quite big, but still for us not big enough. So we had to combine some of them with a very thin um, black profile. So uh, from a distance, you have the feeling it's one big uh, surface. We decided to preserve the majority of the existing concrete skeleton, despite its limited floor-to-floor -floor height. Because of the fact that we wanted to have uh, the highest level of air quality, we had to work with huge ventilation ducts. We, we didn't have any height, so we had to place them outside the skeleton. But that meant that we had to foresee this structure um, with steel beams. And then we used this cantilever system with tension rods to hang these wooden profiles with smart glass. This decision to keep the structure avoided a huge carbon footprint, which aligns completely with our uh, commitment to sustainability. And on top of that, we added this volume in CLT, cross-laminated timber. So now we have this high rise with a combination of timber and the old concrete. Behind the facades, we widened up the staircases in order to get this auditorium-like space. It's where people meet and exchange ideas. Uh, so that cross-pollination is key to innovation and creativity. I think that's the biggest asset of uh, the precedent. We use always a lot of um, natural colors, also a lot of wood, because in some studies they say that looking at wood reduces the, the cortisol in your blood, the, the, the stress hormone. And it's um, these kind of features combined with the cross-pollination at the stairs that creates this busy beehive atmosphere. 
The clients we have always choose for what they know because it feels safe and it takes guts to do differently. Um, but this was 2018. Most of them never heard of WELL certification. I think thanks to the high demands of uh, the, the Generation Z, there's more and more focus on health and well-being. Because if you spend most of your daytime at the office, you expect the highest quality. You, you, you expect that you are supported and the air quality is right and you don't have any glare and um, you have something nice to look at, uh, a nice view. We want you to crave for Monday instead of Friday.